Hey everyone, this video I'm going to explain how to uh, run WordPress offline. So in other words, we can run um, an installation of WordPress right from our computer or from a USB drive or a CD, anything like that. So the first thing we want to do is download the software. And we can get the zip file right here. Just click on that link and it'll download it to your computer. It's a 16, I believe, 15 or 16 meg file. And I've already got it downloaded to my computer, so I'm just going to extract it now. It's on the desktop. And here's the file here. So it's going to click on Extract. And it's going to create a folder with all the files in it. And all we need to do is open it up and then launch USB Web Server, and that'll launch the, act the actual server software in PHP. There we go. And now. Um, the root directory where we're going to install the WordPress files is right here, root. And this brings us, if we click that, it brings us right to that folder. And localhost will actually allow us to browse the website. PHP MyAdmin will allow us to create databases and edit databases. And this here just tells you that the check mark indicates that Apache and MySQL have been launched. You may see warnings in your firewall, um, depending on your operating system. And you can bypass that. You can say yes, allow these to communicate past the firewall. And here we could change the language. And you know we can make different settings here. We can change the ports and the the path to the route. Okay. Now let's take a look. Okay. Um, as you probably know, we need we need to know the uh, database name and the username and password for WordPress in order to install it. So we can check into PHP MyAdmin here. We log in with root. USBW is the password. Click go. And here's an existing database that it created for us automatically, which is test. And then we can make sure it, yep, okay, all privileges are available. And the user is root. Okay, so now we have we have a database set up. If we wanted to create a new database, of course we just give it a name right here and click on create. And it'll automatically give it all the privileges necessary and the database server name will be localhost. You can see it up here. Okay, let's close that off and let's download WordPress now. Okay. So again, this is a zip file, so we'll need WinZip or WinRAR to extract it. And the download is super slow right now, so I'm going to pause this until it's finished. Okay, we have WordPress downloaded here, and I just wanted to point out too that um, if you wanted to run this from a USB drive or a CD, you just have to put all these files onto whatever drive you want to run it from. Okay, so now we're going to open up root, I'm going to clear out everything that's in there. That's the old website that was there. Now we're going to install WordPress there. Let's extract it. Okay. Okay, all the files in there. So we're going to rename config sample. Open it up, put the information that we need in there. So the database name is test. User is root. Password is USBW. Now we want to do some security stuff here, but that's not the purpose of this video. I just wanted to show you how you can run WordPress offline. So let's close that. Okay, it should be good now. Um, Everything's configured, the database is set up, we were pointing to the database in the config file, all the files exist within the root folder of our server software, and now we just have to launch the browser. And then we can set up WordPress, and just the same we can run it offline. Um, we would just browse to localhost in our, in our browser, or just click this link, and it's going to open the default browser and bring you right to the website that's installed into the root folder. In this case, it's WordPress. All right, I hope you got something out of that. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.